With CentOS 7, you had to install Cockpit after the installation of the operating system. It wasn't a terribly challenging process, but it was yet another step you'd have to take to get your CentOS machine to a state where you didn't have to rely on Secure Shell and the command line to administer the platform. Although, every admin should be capable of doing just that. With CentOS 8, Cockpit is installed by default. All you have to do is enable it. Let's find out how. In order to enable Cockpit, log on to your CentOS 8 server. From the terminal prompt, issue the command sudo systemcontrol enable dash dash now cockpit dot socket. With Cockpit enabled, open a web browser on a machine that has access to the CentOS server and point it to https colon slash slash server IP colon 9090, where server IP is the IP address of the hosting server. You will then be prompted for admin credentials. I highly recommend you not logging in as the root user. Instead, make sure you log in with a different user account, one with admin privileges. If you've not created a user with admin privileges, go ahead and log into Cockpit with the root account and then immediately go to Accounts and create a new user. The one caveat to creating a new user account with Cockpit is that you first must create the new account and then, once it's created, edit the account to give the user admin privileges. Click the checkbox for Server Administrator. When that user logs out and logs back in, they will then be a member of the wheel group, which is the administrator group in CentOS.